as you can tell by the title down below, as well as my surroundings right now, today I am doing a haul video. I went shopping with my friend for my birthday and I spent a good chunk of money and now I'm going to show you everything I bought because that's what a haul is. I'm just going to get right into it because this is already going to be a super long video. Starting with Forever 21. The first thing I got at Forever 21 is this pair of pants. But they weren't that expensive. And they're just so comfy and so just like I think they're one of the... They're staple definitely for fall. The next thing I got at Forever 21 is this big baggy sweater. And it says The Lion King on front of it. The inside is just the warmest, softest thing. So I think I'd probably just wear this on like a lazy fall or winter day with a pair of leggings um, and just some little boots because it's just like such a lazy day sweater. I might even just wear it like bumming around the house. I just want to throw something on because it's so soft. And I bought this in a medium, um, which I would usually be small or extra small. But I thought the medium would be good just for, you know, throwing over a lazy day baggy sweater outfit. The last thing from the first bag from Forever 21 is this pair of leggings and they're kind of just like thicker um, so they're more like winter fall type and my leggings actually have a hole in them so I was like I really need some new ones so I thought these ones would be seasonally appropriate and they're cozy and warm and just something simple. Another staple. Next from Forever 21 I got this skirt and it's just like a um, black and white kind of like a Beetlejuice kind of skirt and I think it's high waisted at least that's how I would wear it it's kind of like a statement piece and you just wear it with a black shirt I actually wore this outfit today the last thing I got at Forever 21 are these tights now when I bought these I was like okay it'll be some sheer burgundy maroon tights but they're actually like this color when you wear them so they're really really bright I guess and I think it's too early in the fall to wear them because I was gonna wear them with a dress but they didn't work so but I would wear these with just like a plain black skirt or a black dress and some boots and that would be cute so the next store I have stuff from is PacSun which is actually my absolute favorite store. I wish we had PacSuns where I lived. So I actually went to a normal PacSun and then the next day I went to an outlet PacSun. So at the regular PacSun I got another Beetlejuice item and it's just this pair of skinny jeans and they're just black and white stripes and these are also high-waisted. Um, and I really like jeans like this because they make me look taller and I'm quite short so Looking taller is a nice thing for me. They're just um, high-waisted. I'm not really sure what I'd wear these with. Probably just like a plain white shirt or a plain black shirt. Not anything too busy. So yeah, those I'm really excited to wear and fashion. Because I just think they're so, so cute. <laughs> Another item I got from the regular PacSun was a Brandy Melville dress. Yay! I love that PacSun carries Brandy Melville items. It's actually awesome. So I got this brandy dress. I'm not really sure which one it is, but it's just black and it has a crossover and hole cut out in the back, just at the lower back. But yeah, you guys know the brandy dresses. They're all the same. <laughs> it's just, yeah. And this is the dress I thought would look cute with the burgundy leggings. Also from PacSun, I got a couple tops. And this is from the outlet PacSun. Their tops were honestly reduced price and then 60% off that reduced price so this top was actually three dollars so it's just like a basic little flowy pink coralish crop top and I thought that would be nice like just save it for summer I also got this top that I absolutely love and it was only five bucks and it's this it's like a little crop top and then the top is kinda like this mesh um, mesh see-through-ish kind of material and then it has like these little daisies cutouts in it and it's so cute and I wore this with a high-waisted pair of pants so like and this item will be good um, year-round I think 
because like in the winter I can, or in fall I can just throw a cardigan over it with a high-waisted pair of pants or in the summer with a pair of shorts like I think it's like a rocker kind of shirt the last thing I got from Paxson was a backpack and this is just like a fake leather backpack um, and it just like buckles over like this I actually have been using this for the past few days so it's already filled with my stuff yeah so it just has a drawstring at the top and then you can just flip it over and put some magnet buttons and then there's a pocket in the front and pockets on either side and I just really wanted a black backpack because my other backpack is lime green and you know I felt like I needed something a little toned down but still kind of fancy so I thought the faux leather was really really nice uh, next store is Hollister. I've only got one thing from Hollister because I'm not really big on Hollister stuff. I think it's really expensive and a lot of stuff isn't really worth it. But I did get this one pair of jeans and these are these maroon high-waisted denim jeans. Um, one thing I was really, really upset because this little belt hoop here is hanging on by a thread. So that was really, like, I'm not going to be able to return them or take them back or anything. So I'm just going to have to maybe sew that back or just, I don't know. Next clothing store is H&M. So from H&M I got this plain white v-neck top because I think it's really easy when I want to wear something like really statement pants or statement lips or something like that just to wear a plain outfit or a plain top. So, but yeah, just a plain white v-neck. And when I was shopping, I was on a mission to find long, flowy, cozy cardigans. So this is the first one I saw. They're ridiculously hard to find. I don't know, if you guys have seen some anywhere, let me know. Because I really want some more, but this is the only one I could find. It's not really, like, cozy. It's just like a thin, kind of sheer, burgundy cardigan. Uh, it would work with leggings and just a white top or black top. Yeah, and it just kind of has like a normal, a little bit longer at the back, and then the sides have like these little pieces here that go down really far, so. The last clothing store I went to was Rue 21, and I almost didn't go in this store. I was like, I've never heard of Rue 21, it doesn't look very interesting. So we just kind of walked right past it, and then my mom was like, did you guys go in there? It's such a great store, there's so many awesome things. And I ended up getting quite a bit of stuff. The first thing I saw and was dragged towards was this cardigan and I was like yes finally a cozy cardigan so this is just a gray and black knit cardigan um, it's a little bit longer not too long and it has little pockets and the sleeves are like um, kind of like short sleeve maybe quarter sleeve and it was just such a great find because I was like finally a cardigan the next thing my mom actually bought for me when she went there and I think it's really really nice because it's so soft it's such a nice material but it's just this little um, sweater I think it would be good with leggings for a lazy day because I have a lot of those. But it just says love and has hearts all over it. I think it's cute. It'd be cozy. And the next two things was actually on like a ridiculously crazy deal. It was buy one, get one for one dollar. So they are these pants, like pajama like pants almost, but they're meant to like go on as like to go out. So I'm not really sure what to wear with these, probably just a white t-shirt, I would think. And then tuck the bottoms into some cute shoes, um, probably some combat boots or some little heeled booties. And yeah, and they just have like this tribal print on them. They're a little bit see-through, which kind of concerns me, but I think like just wear black undies and you'll be fine. So the item I got for $1 was another pair of those pants, and these ones are just solid black. So these ones I could wear with more of a fancy, colorful top and... They could just be like, um, comfy and, yeah. So those are just like a simpler version. And that is all for clothes. As you can see, my bags have disappeared. So something I have been needing and wanting for such a long time is just a nice basic pair of combat boots because they have been in for so long and I have not gotten a pair yet. So I finally saw them and I was like, whatever, I'm just going to get a pair. Just, I need a pair. There's such an essential that you need. At least I think so. I guess not everyone will have that opinion. I finally got a pair and these are them. Um, these are in the brand Bull Boxer, if you're curious. So now we are going to go over my favorite things, which would be Sephora, Bath and Body Works, and Lush. So I'm going to start with Bath and Body Works. So from there I got 
just one thing. The thing I did buy is one of these fancy little things that you can put in your car, but psych, I can't drive by myself yet, so I'm going to use this in my locker because my hallway smells, um, it smells like poo, it smells disgusting. So, I got this, and it's just like a cute little one I'm going to clip to my locker, and it's going to make it smell like a Caribbean escape. Put that to go in there. And I got something from Lush as well, and when we went in there, we were just kind of like browsing. I've only ever been to a Lush like two times, so we were just talking with the girls who worked there, and they're like, let us, let's sit down and talk about your skin, and me and my friend are kind of like, uh, okay. But they went and they used all these different products on our back of our hands and they're like, so you could use this face routine or you could use this face routine, which one do you like better? And we're just like feeling our hands and smelling our hands, seeing which one we like better. And it was actually like so relaxing. I felt like falling asleep because they're just like massaging our hands. As you probably know, Lush is quite an expensive store because it's all handmade. It's all like cruelty free, no testing on animals. So like it's costly. So we didn't want to buy the whole routine that she did on my hand. But the girls were actually so nice and they gave us some samples of the things we used. So the first thing I actually bought, which is a full size, was this herbalism cleanser. Um, I just got like a little slice and it's just like this green, um, not too pleasant looking thing and it doesn't smell very pleasant like in this, as a whole. Oh, when you smell it, it smells so strong. It just smells like over seasoned something. Um, so this is just like a face cleanser, they said you kind of like have to take it and like make it into a paste in your hand and then you can rub it on your face and it's supposed to help with redness and acne. I also got this bath bomb and I can't remember which one it's in, but it's the orange and pinkish orange one and it just smells so good. In fall is my favorite time to have baths just because, you know, you come home from a cold fall day, you just want to jump in the bath. A burning hot bath so the last thing I bought is this popcorn lip scrub that I've been wanting like ever since I heard of the store Lush and it's just like a little it has like little salts in it and then some moisturizing cream and it tastes like popcorn so the girl said that this is great for people who wear lipstick because you know when you get that like crusty looking lips from lipstick and it just looks so dried out this is supposed to like get all that dead skin off and make your lipstick look creamy and nice, which is something I need because I love wearing lipstick. And lastly, the girl gave me two samples. The first one is Cosmetic Land, the other one is Skin Drink, and these are just, they suggested putting on with this. They said put on this, and then they put a toner on, and then they put on one of these creams. So I have my own toner that I'll use after I use this, and then use one of these moisturizers that they gave me because they gave like a really generous amount. And they're, like, the skin drink one is actually, you need a tiny, tiny bit, because a little bit goes such a long way. And I definitely saved what I think is the best for last, Sephora. So I'm going to start with the samples they gave me. So I got a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, just a little foil packet. A Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration for Parched Skin from First Aid Beauty another foil packet and then I got living proof prime style extender locks in your style longer weightless perfection weatherproofing time-saving hair primer also I just had my birthday so they gave me the Sephora little birthday present that you get when you go in um, after your birthday real birthday turn-ons from benefit and I got a their real mascara and a what's up highlighter I believe and then this is the very very last item from my entire haul. It is the Naked Basics palette. I've been wanting it for so, so long. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I am so happy with everything I bought. Let me know what fall things you have bought this season, because um, I really want to know. I love hearing what you guys bought. If you have a video, just make sure you leave a comment down below telling me, because video responses are gone now, so just let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.